Super Mario World. Super Mario World. It's a blast from the past. In Super Mario World. It's a blast. The Super Mario World cartoon was something I didn't expect to like over time. Compared to Super Show or Super Mario Bros. 3, it's not nearly as adventurous or action-packed. Instead, it was a bit different, surrounding itself with casual slice-of-life stories rather than crazy adventures. The setting was also different as well. Obviously they have to go based off the game, but caveman characters instead of regular Mario characters was something I totally did not expect in the Mario cartoon. Characters being replaced such as Toad with Yoshi was something I also did not expect. Originally I didn't really like this change, as I thought Toad was a fine addition to the cast, and seeing him completely absent from the show was a bit uncanny to me, but as I watched more episodes, I slowly started to appreciate Yoshi as his own character and didn't really mind the change. In fact, I didn't really mind the show at all for being different. As time went on, I would rank the Super Mario World cartoon as my second favorite show within the trilogy. I mentioned how Super Show was able to keep me entertained by its overall adventurous vibe, but Super Mario World kept me entertained with its overall humor. Throughout each episode that I've seen, it has never failed to make me laugh. I think they blame us! Eh, it's all part of being civilized. Don't worry, Luigi. What are they gonna do? Banish us to the lava pits? Okay, so they banished us. Much like Super Show, it's not very accurate to the actual game, but I still like the idea of the world being built around prehistoric times, surrounding itself with dinosaurs, cavemen, and so on. With these new additions, it allowed Mario and company to interact with these characters in their slice of life stories. Adventures are fun and my personal favorite in storytelling. But I also like casual fun episodes too, and I think this show captures the formula very well. Lots of these episodes are great, but one episode I liked the most was King Scoopa Koopa. I guess I liked it a lot due to the whole fast food aspect of things, but of all the episodes, I found this one to be the most funniest and entertaining of them all. Rotten fruit, eggshells. It, it must be coming out of the. Oh, yeah. I also appreciate the message the episode puts out. Fast food isn't that bad to eat every once in a while, but having it every day can do more harm than good to your body, and that's what this episode showcases. It reminds us every day that even if there are times that we do decide to eat fast food, we should also advise ourselves not to consume it all the time, and instead, eat something that's more healthy towards your body. Anyways, in this episode, Bowser or known as King Koopa in the series, makes his own fast food restaurant. As crazy as it sounds, the place becomes a huge hit within Dome City, with Luigi and Yoshi becoming a huge fan of his food. However, Bowser's food is quickly revealed to have some crazy side effects, leaving all paying customers slowly mutating into chickens. Once Mario and Princess Peach or Princess Toasto in this series take notice of this, they go on the quest to find a way to shut down Bowser's restaurant. Using the cape feather, Mario successfully destroys Bowser's restaurant, leaving him and his troops helpless to do anything but to retreat. Soon after, Mario encourages the town of Dome City to start eating healthy, and when they do, the town morphs back into normal, bringing Dome City back to peace. So yeah, it's pretty tame, but also pretty fun for a Mario cartoon. Lots of characters are enjoyable to watch, it's easy going, super funny, and of course, fun to watch.